Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and welcome back for some more Mario Tennis Power Tour. Last episode, we got our objective. Go to the island open, we could find out who those masked players were from the last episode. In this episode, we're going to decide what we're going to do. We're going to pick du doubles, which is yes, or singles, which is no. And uh, this is actually a pretty easy choice. I do this all the time. Actually, I, have, I actually started doing this. I might go back to this game. But... I'm going to pick yes, because I'm going to start off with doubles. So, this is Ace's first doubles partner, so... As you can see, it's our room, by the way. It's a Mario Power Tennis poster. After hard day's work, why not play this and get even better? Yeah, Nintendo promoting themselves inside their own games. I miss how, I miss the old days of Camelot when uh they would play uh they, when they would make games like this. But anyways, let's go in here and this is the junior class. Oh excuse me. Trying to get Mark's attention. Mark I don't know why when I see Mark I always thought he was Roy he looked like Roy from Fire Emblem. I don't know, like, a lot of the characters in this game, like, with, like, colored hair, like, they look like Fire Emblem characters. Well, not necessarily Mark, like, I always thought he was Roy, because when I was younger, I, I played Melee a lot, and I wasn't really a pro, I would just, like, play it regularly, like, a, a casual I was back then. I got fine with casuals, but now I'm more, pro like, you know... Not cop casual, I play it, you know, wave dashing off cancel it, but whatever, enough about Melee. But he just looks like Marth. That's how, that, every time when I was younger, I was like, oh my god, this guy looks like Mark. Not Marth, uh, Roy. I was like, and, uh, another Fire Emblem character I look alike is right here, it's Marth! Are you looking for a n ranking match? We're number four. Okay, sure, let's get started then. This is Sophia and Meg. Yeah, and Sophia looks like Marth. So, ha, huh, Lucina, you're not the first female Marth. Okay, let's start the match. Lower ranked team serves first. First two sets win. So, yes, we're going to take on Marth. Okay, Peter and Ace take on Sophia and Meg. So, the gameplay simple. Now that we're actually playing the sport portion of it, move left and right when you're serving. You have to serve behind the line. And it's pretty easy, the junior class. All you need to do is just, like, serve like that. You can move around. Uh, B is a slice. A is a top spin, I think. It's, the, it's just a regular hit. And together, you get a smash kind of thing, which I failed to do, as you can see. A and B, like A to B is a, a lob, B to A is a shorten. Uh, let me see if I could do it. Yeah. It's a pretty... That's what I like about this, like it's easy to do like these certain controls without like the need to do some like weird thing, I don't know. But it's just like, I just like how Mario Tennis was made. Uh, 64... Is like the most realistic in a way because you didn't have your power shots and whatnot. But I felt like this was more pro like professionally, like you know, there's no way someone could always get out because like you could legitimately get out a lot in the in uh, Mario Tennis 64. Also, the ball also could hit your opponent if they uh the like the CPUs like sometimes yeah there we go like they don't pay attention for some weird reason. And no serve aces, or serve aces, because uh, our partner is just going to be doing her her own thing. She's just a regular AI. I think she is a lot smarter than the earlier AI, but then she kind of gets dumb later on in the game. Like, look at that. Look at this AI. They just get hit by the ball. They're like, no. Marth needs to get better at her game. Like, seriously, it looks like Marth. 
I wonder if uh, Camelot actually took inspiration, like, by characters' designs from uh, Fire Emblem. Like, it would be pretty cool, actually, like, knowing that some of these characters were based off of Fire Emblem characters. And there we go, that's a Smash winner, which you get a point by doing A and B together when you see, like, that little star uh, thing come up. And yeah, uh, this is why I prefer this game over the original. Uh, that the reason is the games are much much shorter. Like I'm not even when I first tried it out, uh, I'm still in junior class, and the games take forever. Like you still have four your four ranks and whatnot, but it takes forever. Oh, anyways, here is the leveling system. Yeah, stereotypical RPG kind of like system. Uh, actually, let me. There we go. Yeah, stereotypical RPG system with leveling up and whatnot. Oh, whoa. Actually got a lot of XP. Leveling up to level 4 while our partner levels up to level 3. So, what I plan to do is... Uh... Let's see... What I plan to do is to actually, uh, yeah, is to actually, uh, level up both of us when we're playing doubles, but when it goes, when we start singles, that's when we're going to stop and we're going to actually, uh, train ourselves, like, give all the XP to ourselves, because what's our partner going to do? That's right, we can. You should be practicing on the senior courts anyways. Yeah, the senior courts got way prettier courts than the juniors do. You two have something against seniors or what? Yeah, so uh, in singles, Ace is in uh, the senior courts, and so they're pretty much going to bother her and get into her head. Which is something Ace also learns as well as, uh, as this progresses later on. And a lot of the junior class members are pretty stubborn. Oh, and about the court, we'll be using it after all. Yeah, they're very stubborn and ig ignorant. Sore losers. If you're going to keep winning, you'd better get used to that. I don't know. I bet a lot... I beat a lot of players in my time. Stole their dreams. Trumped on their hearts to make varsity. But I told myself for every player I'd be, I, I'd have extra hard work... Hard to work to make up their dreams. You're in the winner's world. Keep that in mind. As you work toward varsity. Oh, great, the camera messed up again. Uh, anyways. So, let's head on to the next rank match. Which is these guys. Now that you're number four, I'm sure you're itching to take on me and my partner. Okay, I'll humor you. So you wanted to play a rank, ma or rank three match, huh? So, we're going to start first. Yes, this, always, this will always happen, no matter what. And I like how everybody has different positions and blinks. Like, that's what I really like about the detail of this game. And this is going to be a pretty easy uh, thing. Like, this game is so easy in the beginning, but then, like, the difficulty just spikes up super hard. That's why I played this game a lot when I was younger, and I got really good at it. Like, this is like one of my all-time, like, childhood classics. I remember always playing this, uh, when I always, always go on vacation. And I always wondered, wow, I want to be like them. I want to play tennis. And I play tennis now. Uh, a few years late, like, I started playing when I was... 15, well that was pretty much last year actually, but it's still very fun. Uh, we did doubles, which was pretty cool, uh, we we're supposed to get into like, uh, learning, uh, like we're doing like actual games, like we did actual games, but like we're, we, I think the teacher might have had us done like a tournament or something, like we had like eight different groups, so we'd pick like the two, like what I thought is that we would pick the two best members from each group. And it would be like a tournament. 
Uh, but one of the groups was actually uh, pretty, like, it was like this insane overpowered group. Like, with uh, players that are actually in uh, the tennis team. So that's, I think that's the reason why I think we didn't have it. Or we just didn't have enough time. Because I think that if with enough improve like enough uh, improvement, I think we could have been like around their level. Oh, can you stop aiming at Ace? Like I seriously do a lot of the work. Also, you could taunt, which is the funny thing. Uh, similar to Mario uh, Tennis, oh, uh, not open. Mario Tennis, uh, uh, yeah. Similar to Mario Tennis 64 and, uh, actually all Mario Tennis games actually do it. And pretty easy once again. Uh, actually, we're supposed to level up Ace, actually. Yeah, so it's very easy, this game, in the beginning, as I said before. Okay, let's give ourselves control. Stroke. Control. Stroke. Okay, there we go. Oh, control and stroke. Jeez. Game. Speed. Power. And we get Chad. Yes, we're basically. We're going to unlock every character in doubles, like all the partners. They're not going to be in a. They're not going to be in singles. These characters, the only their partners, which like, uh, for example, Sophia, and this guy, the green hair, are going to pretty much be unlocked in single player. Well, just by yourself. You'll eat these those words, Ace. One day my po my powers will arise. And you'll be all be sorry. Yeah, keep talking. If you're gonna shake up the standings, then we'll shake your way to the top and get out of our class. Yeah, but that that's better because if you guys stay in your own class, I'd like to see those so-called phenom powers of his. So how's this work? He's just gonna wake up one day and be a good tennis player all of a sudden. He just dissed his whole life. Oh my god, he should be ashamed of himself. Like, I understand, if they tell us to get out of their class, then that means you're going to stay in this class forever and not bother to move up and become an Island Open champion. You really suck. Anyways, we got Dora the Explorer! I'm just kidding, no. I guess it's time for our long-awaited match. You want to play a ranking match, right? It's Frisk. It's Dora. Who knows who it is? I always thought it was like Dora and uh, Sabrina from Pokemon teaming with each other. I was like, when I was younger. All these things I'm saying is what I thought when I was younger. So this one, like these two, the next two matches, the next two ranked matches that we're going to have is my favorite music in the game. Sylvia and Sasha. There we go. The best music in the game. It's just this, like, marching music. Anyways, I just moved the camera. Yeah, I really like this music, especially in the beginning. And it restarts every time you, uh, have, like, a new game. Not a new game, but, like, a new set. Whoa, they're about to score a point on us for the first time, the computer. And it's gonna start again. Oh my! Oh, return! Yeah, return winners. Yeah, so you return it on a serve, and they the opponent does isn't able to get it pretty much. Okay, that time she got to hit it. They also reuse voices for certain characters, but then there's other characters that their voices are pretty unique, actually. I did that without moving. What the hell? Anyways. Okay. 
Okay, thank God we have Ace right behind us. This is why I like being in the front four, because you hog the ball from Ace, and Ace, like, the AI just isn't that good. Unless you get, like, the all-star uh, AI from... Oh, they finally scored a point on us. I guess that's from me ball hogging too much, to be honest. There we go. And this is the the first. This is like the first game that they start doing server and pre seat server uh, instead of like the names for the actual characters. Because in uh, Mario Power Tennis, the uh, characters actually.